Thank you for choosing ApplianceVideo.com. In this video, we will be replacing the condenser fan motor. The condenser fan motor is most commonly used in many Whirlpool, Maytag, Amana, and Roper refrigerators. Our experts give this repair a level one skill rating, level one being the easiest, and can be performed by most non-professionals without much difficulty. The average time of completion for this repair is 15 minutes. Appliancevideo.com advises you to take caution while performing this repair. During this video, you will see caution icons appear on the screen. Such icons include sharp edges, water damage, gas and fire hazards, lifting hazards, delicate components, electrical dangers, and state regulated materials. You will need the following tools before you begin this repair. A quarter inch nut driver and a 5 16 nut driver. Stop. Before you begin this repair, make sure the appliance is unplugged from the wall outlet. Step 1. Remove the condenser fan motor. To begin this repair, we must first gain access to the back of the refrigerator. There are six screws which hold the bottom back cover in place. Use a quarter inch nut driver to remove these screws. Each side of the panel is tucked underneath the frame of the refrigerator. Pull straight up to remove. Now with the back cover off, locate the fan motor housing. Remove the three quarter inch screws with a quarter inch nut driver. Next, we must remove the defrost drain tube assembly. Lift straight up, gently angle it to the right, and remove it. Now that you have access to the condenser motor housing assembly, let's remove it. Gently push the filter dryer tube assembly over to the right and hold it with your right hand. Slide the motor and housing out with your left hand. With the motor out, depress the release tab to unplug the wiring harness on the motor. Next, remove the condenser fan motor blade. Put two fingers from each hand on the center of the fan blade. Push it up until the blade slides off the shaft assembly. Then using a 5 16 nut driver, remove the two screws on the back of the housing assembly. Be sure to hold the motor with your other hand, as it will fall out. Step 2. Replace the condenser fan motor. Now that you have the new condenser fan motor, let's reinstall it. Simply look at the condenser fan housing and make sure the orange wiring harness is on the bottom and the mounting tab is on the top of the housing assembly. Put the motor in the two rounded screw slots and hold the motor in place. Flip the unit over and reinstall the two 5 16 screws until snug. Now that the motor is installed, flip the housing and motor over and install the condenser fan blade. Make sure the metal band tab is in the front and then push down on the blade until flush with the tip of the fan blade. Next, reinstall the wiring harness until locked into place. The harness is keyed so it can only plug in one way. While installing the fan shroud, look at the bottom tab assembly. It must line up with the open slot on the cabinet assembly or the shroud will not go in all the way. Now, move the filter dryer tubing to the right as you slide the motor housing into place and line up the bottom locking tab. Next, using a quarter inch nut driver, reinsert and tighten the three screws to the shroud assembly. Now reinstall the drain tube assembly and pull down. Make sure to keep the tube about one inch above the drain pan. If the drain tube is pushed down all the way, it will not drain properly. To complete the repair, Let's reinstall the back cover. Tuck each side of the cover into the bottom lip. Be sure the power cord fits into its slot. Now reinstall the six quarter inch hex head screws to complete the reinstallation. Now reconnect the appliance to the wall outlet. Congratulations, you have just successfully replaced the condenser fan motor. 
Be sure to visit appliancevideo.com for all of your future repairs, where you can find everything from the tools and the parts you need to the videos that will help you do it right the first time.